Hey guys, it's Katie. So today I'll be doing my favorites, or my monthly favorites for the month of July. And it's kind of for June too, because I didn't do, do, I didn't do, I didn't do a June favorites video. So I decided to kind of combine them both and make it a June slash July favorites video. Okay, so I have this big, like, thing with all my stuff in it. I have a lot of favorites for this month because it's been, like, two months and, like, smushed together, I guess. So, okay, the first thing I've been loving is this Trish McAvoy palette. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I got this from Street Dolls a while back, and it's just this, and it comes with, like, different cheek colors, face colors, blush, eyeshadows. These are all eyeshadows. And I've actually only been using this. This is the Peony Pink Blush, and I love this color. It's, like, perfect for my cheeks. So it isn't too much. It's very pigmented on my finger, actually. It comes over very transparently, but also has a little bit of a pinky sheen to it. And I really like it. Um, perfect for, like, kind of fair skin. I really like this color from this NYX palette. Um, and it is just... I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Nude or something. And this is just a really nice highlight color. Um, I actually pat this on with my finger very pigmented again. Next are three brushes and these are all from Sigma. Um, if you guys saw my Sigma review, these were some of the ones that I said that I really really liked and I actually, yeah, truth be told, um, these are my three favorite brushes from Sigma. And this is the, I can never get the names right, okay. What is this? This is the 239 and it, I use this just to pat on color under my lid and it's very dense, very good for lid color. Um, and then also this is the two, wait, let me guess. No, 224, and this is just a blending brush. I use this to blend out my crease, and I usually just use these two for my eyes, and then um, for my highlight color, I just pat it on with my finger because, I don't know, it's just easier for me. And then lastly is this powder brush, and it is the SS150, and I use this to apply my face powder, um, which is the NYC Smooth Face, Smooth Face, Smooth Skin Pressed um, Powder, and it's a transparent powder, but it just makes my face look really smooth, so I like it. And I apply it with this brush. Next is a MAC eyeshadow, and it is in Naked Lunch. Um, looks like this. And I use this for the lid, like, almost every day. This is, like, an everyday staple for me. Um, let me see if this is a swatch. It's very, like, nude, because I'm very tan, so it doesn't really show up. But it's, like, it's right here. And, I don't know, I love this as a lid color. It's very versatile, so it goes with lots of different crease colors. Um, and speaking of crease colors, well, speaking of crease colors, I use, um, this is my Coastal Scents palette, um, Metal Mania palette. I still haven't done a review on this, but I really love it. It comes with all of these lovely shadows. Um, they're very, very, like, metal or metallic. Metallic, that's the word. Um, so I usually use this color as my crease, which is right here. And I love it. Um, it's kind of like brown with lots of different flecks of like silver and gold, I guess. It goes really great with Naked Lunch, so it's right here. And I really love it. Next thing I've been loving is from Rain Cosmetics. I'll be doing a review on that. But um, it looks like this, and it is actually a brow gel. And my eyebrows are very important to me, so I really love a brow gel. Um, and this one's awesome. It keeps my brows in place all day. doesn't wear off. Um, I just love it very much. So definitely pick up this brow gel. Next is Benefits High Beam. And this is really great um, for summer. It makes your cheeks very luminescent. You just take it and it looks like this. It's kind of like a nail polish. It has this kind of wand or whatever this is called. It says Luminescent Complexion Enhancer. So you put three little drops, or I put three little drops on my cheeks right up here. And I just rub it in, and it makes, like, a very great, like, luminescent glow to my face, which I really love. Okay, so next are three lip products. And the first one is this Lipalicious Lip... What's it called? Tasty Lip Color in Sheer Limeade. Um, it looks like this, and it's just a clear gloss, which I'm wearing right now. And it has some, like, shimmer in it, but, um, mostly it's just a gloss. And I really like clear glosses now. Um... I can't really pull off a really bright lip color very easily, so I really like sheer glosses like this. And this is from Bath & Body Works. I don't know exactly how much it was. I think it was like $8. Next is my EOS Lip Balm, and it looks like this. It's just an EOS Lip Balm. I don't know. I think it's EOS or EOS. I don't know how you want to say that. But this is in Honeydew Melon or Honeydew... Whoa! Something. Something Honeydew. Or maybe it's Honey... Honeysuckle? I don't know, I just really love it, so definitely pick up some EOS lip balms. This is my, th I have three of these. This is Rain Cosmetics, again, lip gloss, and I'm wearing this a lot. Um, it's called, it's in Magic, and it actually has, like, a lip, like, brush on it, 
Um, you, you don't really see these very much anymore. It looks like this. Oh, there's a hair on it. Ew, nasty. And it's just this, like, berry pink color, and it looks really great on my lips. Um, with my dark hair, it just really contrasts very well, so I'll have the link to Rain Cosmetics in my down bar. Next are three benefit products, which actually came in a little to-go kit. Um, if you walk up to the Sephora counter, and, like, you know how they have all the sample size stuff? This was only $10 for three sample sizes of these three products, and I'm in love with this. Um, this is the State on Stray, um eyeshadow base or eyeshadow primer and this is great it holds my shadow all day long and this is the only sample size so I have to get I probably have to upgrade to the bigger size soon um, next is benefits erase paste and I swear by this uh, I think I might have to get it into in the lighter shade once summer's over because this is a little bit dark for me it's in number two medium and this is the sample so the bigger one is a lot bigger I assume the bigger one is a lot bigger duh Okay, so it looks like this, and it's just kind of like a sticky substance, really um, dark circles, so I really love this. And lastly, it comes with um, this creaseless, creaseless Cream Shadow Slash Liner um, in RSVP, and the packaging is super cute. I don't really use this very much. Um, I used it, this is a very great comparison to a MAC paint pot. Um, I don't know, I don't really like it very much, but it came with it, just in case you guys want to test it out. And lastly for beauty is this perfume, and it's by um, Britney Spears. It's Britney Spears Curious, and the bottle is so cute. It's just so fun just to sit on your vanity. I love it. Um, but also it smells very good, and it comes with quite a lot of product in there. Um, product. Perfume. Duh. It smells very feminine, like, I don't know how to, it smells very expensive, and this is really not very expensive. I got this at Marshall's for $15, I think. Okay, so I lied. I have one more beauty favorite, and these are my tweezers. They're Revlon tweezers. I've never, like, gone away from Revlon. Um, there's, like, Tweezer Man and, like, all these different brands of tweezers, but I'm never going to change my ways from Revlon, and this is the Ultimate Revlon tweezers. Some tweezers I've used previously, like, um, the, the hairs kind of slip away from it, but this, like, precisely, like, it's every single one, and I love it. Next, I have three non-beauty favorites, and the first one is this necklace from Forever 21, and it's these cute little nerdy glasses, and I love it. It's, like, the perfect length, um, and, oh my gosh, the kids I babysit love this necklace, like, so much, but I love it more. The first one is this clear sparkling water in raspberry and blackberry. And secondly, it's the Lipton Green Tea. And I love these because I've been trying to steer away from drinking soda because it's so bad for you. Um, and it's bad for your teeth, too, because I have very sensitive teeth. So, yeah, it's really bad. So I decided to, when I went to the store with my mom, to pick out some other drinks that I can get addicted to. Oh, this is zero calories. Oh, that's all of my beauty favorites for this month. So if you guys have a beauty favorites video, please upload it and put it below in the video response. I feel like I have a hair on my face. Ugh. And let me know what you guys think of my favorites in the comment section, and I'll talk to you guys all very soon, so bye!